And once again, Lay down, please. not my favorite map, but let's get started on the achievement floozy being captained by Scrimsaw. We have a carronade mortar on one side with a uh, Gat Flak on the other side and a Banshee up front on the wizard piloted by Krafus Sturdy. We've got Carinade up front, Mortar facing front as well with a Flare Gun and Mine Launcher on the sides on the Cakewatch team, piloted by Alistair Silas, one of the two people who I hate because he named his ship the Drunken Angle. <laughs> uh, we've got a Watch of Fish, and somebody falls off the ship there, um, with a Flamethrowers on both sides and on the Drunkle Angle. Uh, no, this is the Drunken Angel, uh, piloted by Soraptor, my other least favorite person in the world currently. Uh, he's got a Carinade mortar up front with Hades flare gun on the side. Now, this is like the fourth time by different ships that I've seen this Carinade mortar. What do you think about that? I think um, it's very interesting. You, if you can just kind of get a slightly higher angle than your opponent, blend him down and at the same time you can just rain down that mortar on him uh you know so you can rely on getting a quicker kill maybe supplement the uh armor penetration of your ally i think it's got a lot of potential i think it's got a lot of potential to lock down your opponent and also supplement damage at the same time fair enough it's just not something you you usually see uh paired with mortars you'll often see just you know your typical glat gat uh, but as we see here, we got some fire going on. Those those mortars barely not hitting uh, the achievement floozy there, uh, just out of range. But now the two Cakewatch ships are going to descend up on the achievement floozy. And is this watch of fish going to be as effective this time around? Uh, not quite so Ooh, far. About half those rockets glanced off, but he's still taking down those guns. Yeah, but the drunken angle is also uh, oh, drunken taking angle a lot right of damage. Uh, did get its balloon knocked off, and ooh, there goes a mine smashing a into it is the Angel. Uh, those mines by Krafus 30 are just absolutely brutal. We saw this last week. Uh, it does a, such a good job of uh, getting approaching oh, the ships. In from the achievement and boozy. the mortar's Boom. taken down the angle there. The wizard, however, has gotten completely disabled by the, that watcher from the angle. Uh, however, the angle is kind of sitting out by itself here. We'll see if it can uh, do the same type of disabling to both of these ships that he did last time. But oh, that watch of fire not doing a whole lot and absolutely gets wrecked by that mortar uh, fire from the floozy. So great start to this match for the Thrall so far. Absolutely. Um, the wizard still deadly aspire in the game. Yeah. No and... question about it, as far as I can see. And you saw those uh, those mines being used to absolute effective, full effectiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, now this spawn that the uh, Cakewatch got is not exactly the greatest. They are completely split on opposite sides of the map. Um, sometimes it can work out in a little bit of a pincer move, but oftentimes what you'll just have is one of these ships gets absolutely wrecked, while the other is still trying to come in. And that looks like it might be happening as the Wizard and the Floozy are uh, trying to uh, take on in the the angel here who is backing up the angle however is way 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 far behind still yes indeed he is the the angel uh, the further the angel backs off though uh, the further the the angle <laughs> gets away yeah I mean at this point I, I, I actually instead of seeing them uh, back up I would have loved to see them try to go around the not juggernaut um, but instead they just started backing up and uh, still getting chased down by these two ships now they are going to head forward now as the floozy still firing off the angel here the wizard on actually is in the middle of a sand cloud right here so that's very bad for them but the angel taking so much damage from the floozy here Taking full on brunt of that uh, mortar. Uh, the Junket Angle has managed to come behind the wizard, uh, shooting off that watcher, but uh, the angel goes down once more. I don't think he's going to be able to kill the wizard with that watcher alone. 
Yeah, he I think this really could be giving enough a kill away. While he might be able to, uh, you know, disable like that, that's uh, yeah, that's definitely a good idea. But uh, just doesn't quite have that killing power, and that's always been the watch's problem. Is you, you can like usually turning do a lot flames. of it, but uh, yeah, without a, a sub, without a, a supporting ship there, the watch is just just not quite effective enough. Although the wizard is taking a lot of damage here now. Oh, my goodness. It is still a spire after all. Uh, it is a spire. Never forget that. So even 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 with the uh, dam or hull uh, amount uh, buffed, limited, it is still yeah, squishy. Limited armor to penetration. Uh, the wizard, the spire, doesn't have much armor to penetrate. Yep, and it's and this is down. what a, this is what a Huancha fish should be doing uh, in a two-on-one situation. Absolutely. Evading. And it's it's uh it's done an incredibly good job at it, in so much that the drunken angel has managed to come back behind the wizard. The wizard is about to run into his own mines here. Ooh, and is he gonna do it? Oh boom, yes, he yes, does, and oh go. that's very bad. Oh, as that drunken angel himself. just gets. Oh, and the drunken angel finishes him off. That's filthy right there. Oh, that is disastrous, disastrous mistake. Um, uh, and the floozy, in the meantime, has had everything disabled, uh, much like we saw well, almost everything disabled. It's going to try to moonshine out of here with zero guns and one engine out, and we'll see if that works out at all or not. The wizard didn't get the worst of spawns in this case, um, but there's just too much fire going on on the floozy. Yep, there you go. So it's a uh, cake watch bringing it back there. Three to two game now. And yeah, unfortunately, the wizard running into its own mind there was probably the worst thing that could have happened for the thralls. Uh, laying down mines once more. Uh, looks like trying the... to shoot them out. It doesn't seem to be decelerating. Now the angel got Drunk out of the way, but the angle basically oh, <laughs> still managed to stab it. Didn't uh... the angle's just going overhead? Kind of wondering why the angel didn't try that. Um... Yeah, with the mines, it's it's a very much a case of you know, fool me, fool me once, shame on me, fool me <laughs> twice, or, yeah, fool me <laughs> once, shame on you, fool me twice, uh, you know, shame on me. Uh, yeah, I, 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 fool, uh, fool, I fool me this. for the third time, and my name is probably somebody from the wolf pack, because that continually happened last week, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> All right, <laughs> uh. so we got the the two uh, cake watch teams. And where is? Oh wow, okay, so Achievement Floozy was way, way far on the other side of the map than when the wizard was going, the wizard was backing oh, up. Oh, horrendous spawn for the Achievement yeah. Floozy. But this, these mines doing work once more on the Drunken Angel, it's going to hit Drunken another Angel's one right there. Another one, yeah. yeah, so the wizard is... is uh, I've seen... The, the wizard has to have more mine hits than I've seen any other ship ever have, but it's just not going to do enough as everything is absolutely disabled. Any sort of shots coming out on the wizard is it going to completely wreck its day. Uh, Drunken Angle coming in here. Uh, mortar shots coming down. Floozy Dud does finally manage to get back into the act here. But is it just going to be in time to meet grind? And your answer is probably yes. Hmm. Yep, I think this is going to be a quick kill here. I think the drunk, drunken angle, as soon as his watch is cooking, they're going to take out pretty much everything on the floozy. Yeah. But the wizard gets a pretty good spawn. Oh, he is right back into this match, but the floozy... Oh, uh, that, that watch is doing more work than any other watch I've ever seen oh, in, in an entire match. Good spawn. I, I think I've I literally... Mean, bad spawn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how those uh, those good spawns could turn into bad spawns. Yeah, very that quickly. Quick. As, I was, as I was saying, I think this is uh, the only match I've seen in a long time where a watch has managed to sustain doing that much damage repeatedly. Once mm. again, avoiding those mines. Um, the angel is now privy to that as well. And they're just going to rain fire into the wizard right here. And I think this will probably end game number one as the wizard barely has any sort of damage left. There you go. Cake watch taking out the wizard there. So coming back uh, from being down, I believe at some point, one point it was 3-0. And uh, mm. they win it 5-3. to three, So great job by cake watch there. Yeah, I thought the uh, the glow water frills had it in the bag there for a bit, but uh, just that superior watchering, one through, and also some 
god awful spawns from the Global Waterfalls. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's quite far apart. Uh, was really not that good for them. Everyone, welcome back to the Sunday Rumble number ten. This is the second round of the series between Cake Watch and the Glow Water Frawls. Here we have Duel at Dawn. Yep, once again, probably the smallest map that we have on our pool. So let's run through these ships as quick as we can because fights will happen soon. All right, so on the achievement floozy, once again, Captain Buys, Crimson, we've got Gat, Flak, um, uh, Carronade, Mortar, Banshee. Yeah, Banshee up front. On the Wizard, Captain Mike Craft Sturdy. Uh, we've got uh, Heavy Carronade Mortar facing front with a uh, Flare on one side and that ever so effective Mine Launcher on the other. On the Sober Australian, thank you very much for changing the name, Mr. Alistair Styles. We've got that uh, incredibly effective Watch of Fish with Flamethrowers on the sides. And on the Drunken Asian, Apparently, we've got Drunken Asians going on. We've got the uh, Carronade Mortar up front with a Hades and uh, a Beacon Flare Gun on the sides. So thankfully, we've got a little right. bit of a name change in ships, but uh, <laughs> all, the, all the loadouts are still exactly the same as they have been previously. Well, uh, we'll see if the uh, the new names, the ships, reflect the playing styles. The uh, drunken Asians going to end up bumping into things constantly. You know, and, it feels uh, like the start of a joke, like a sober Australian and a drunken Asian walk into a bar. Yeah, that's that kind of <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, say drunken Asian, you've you've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> the drunken Asian has a thimble worth of beer and is completely plastered. <sighs> okay, well, I didn't want to go into the, the, the racist territory. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, I have plenty of Asian friends, and uh, they cannot quite hold their liquor. But still, <laughs> uh, we're getting some watcher fire going off here from the uh, sober Australian. Not really hitting anything in this case, but I don't think they really expected to either, quite honestly. Mm. Sober Australian being very sensible. Very sober, you might say. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in the meantime, the wizard is uh, mining up that one approach angle, so that's quite good. Uh, it's quite a effective way, effective use of mines there, uh, mm -hmm. knocking off one of the angles of engagement. Forcing them to come around this corner. Yep. It makes it a lot easier when you know exactly where the other ships are going to be coming from. The achievement floozy, losing its bal uh, balloon slowly, and that watch of fire... Once again, not very uh, effective at all. It hit mostly balloon. That's not quite what you want to see. Silver Australian, in the meantime, however, losing its balloon as well. And quite a lot of its hull, its actually armor is all the way down. But those mortar shots are coming in just not quite enough. So they're going to be able to repair that back up. Oh, Drunken Asian taking horrific amounts of damage here. Hitting a mine, hitting the wall, oh, taking the, the carronade, yeah. taking the mortar. And absolutely getting peppered by those shots. Are they going to be able to get finished off here? Are they going to slam oh, into the side? There yep, we there go. you go. And quick 1-0 lead for the Thralls, doing a very good job of zoning out, and using those mines once again for great effectiveness. And the Serb Australian uh, trying to do what it can here. Those watchers, I, this is the problem with a watcher. If you're not disabling basically on every shot, you are essentially useless. Uh, that's, I mean, that's that's kind of what it boils down to. Uh, if you're not hitting that with that watcher and disabling uh, components, you uh, why did you why you know what what good is a watcher going to do you then? Well, I mean, uh, it, it might uh, finish off an unarmored hull, perhaps, but well, that's about it. Yeah, um, it's <laughs> not going to do a, not going to do quite enough is is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Well, I I would wholeheartedly agree. Now the drunken Asian, the sober Australian, trying to focus fire on the wizard. Did get some nice shots off there. Once again, that uh, Watcher just mainly hit the bottom of the uh, the Wizard there, however, so it didn't really take any major damage from that Watcher. Uh, the Australian still trying to shoot off. Gets a nice amount of Watch Barrage there. Does take out that Carronade, which is... If you're going to take out one part in a Spire, make it be the front gun. That is absolutely uh, crucial in, in games like this, especially if it's a carinade. 
Yes, indeedy. It's a good, um, good watch of fire going off there. A little bit more disabling there. Watches are, of course, very effective against oh, junkers. Oh, drunken Asian elegantly arcing these mortars over. Not hitting a single one, but it is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Trying, <laughs> you know. Arcing them over without exposing himself. You, 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 never, you never quite know what you're going to hit. Yeah, I mean, you may as well fire and hope. Like a game of battleships, really. Spray and pray. As, uh, spray and pray, yes. As, as you yes, like to call indeed. it in first-person shooter games. Now, the achievement floozy is poking its nose out here, and I'm not quite sure why they want to be doing this. Uh, this could be a mistake. As the yeah, wizard... Sort of leaving this very defensible position here. Yeah, the wizard isn't following them either, so all this is doing is exposing them, and that watch of fire hits absolutely nothing. I think they thought the floozy was going to keep on moving forth, and they did not, so... Uh, you know, good escape, or I, I guess fortuitous escape there by the floozy. Uh, the Junkin Asian has taken a lot of damage there from the wizard uh, uh, using those that ca front sight carronade. Uh, fl the floozy now has its balloon out as well, and now the wizard is the one under attack by these two ships. So it's really weird because there's a lot of fire going on. There's a like, constantly gunfire going on between these two teams, but Really, nothing much has been accomplished. I mean, the Drunken Asian has taken a small amount of, uh, of fire, and the Floozy has come all the way around here, and I think they're trying to get on to the Asian, maybe? I don't I don't quite know why the Floozy has come out here. This is very strange to me. Well, the Floozy's... The, the Sober Australian's balloon's taken down. Maybe the Achievement Floozy's trying to come in and get a quick kill on the Sober Australian. And that seems to be exactly what he's trying to do, and he might just get it. But the Drunken Asian has turned around now. Yeah, Drunken Asian has turned around. Sober Australian oh, also focusing on the Floozy. The wizard the floozy. cannot support. Yeah, Wizard is not in the good position to do any sort of supporting whatsoever. I mean, is hitting a little bit on the Sober Australian still, but uh, that effectiveness... Oh, the Drunken Ooh, Asian, the Drunken Asian and the Australian drunkenly, collide. Yeah, drunkenly bump into his friend. And the Australian the says, like, Hey, mate. You had too much to drink there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can't hold your liquor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry if I offended anyone by that uh, impression. Anyway, the uh, sober Australian. Uh, uh, the floozy is, is just down the, the watcher. out of his depth right here. <laughs> He's watchering him. <laughs> yeah, um, and the floozy is just going to take some catastrophic damage there, going down. And I'm not. It's still not entirely sure why the floozy decided to pull out of the side there uh, in that in that position that they were defending all it did was just open them up to uh fire i mean maybe if it if it had been able to do killing blow immediately but uh neither of these two cake watch ships were at enough damage uh taken to have that happen mm. so, well the uh ooh, nice watch of fire going. being focus fired here Unfortunately, all that takes out this time is the beacon flare gun, not that, uh, not that carinade. Now, where is the spawn for the flu? Ooh, the floozy actually got a terrible spawn there. Look at that. It's uh, basically behind these ships. So, um, coming around the side once more, like it, it essentially like it did last time. And mm, both another the, flanking maneuver. Yeah, both the Asian and the Australian are going to probably turn around here. Uh, and open, uh, open full force of their fire onto the floozy. That washer shot missing almost everything so that uh, that's not a good way to start up the, the wizard is actually coming over the rib here but bumps into it and that's going to slow down their approach giving time for the cake watch to take the floozy down here and the wizard is going to have to uh, speed itself up again try to get in here but the floozy is already taking so much damage that watch and knocking off everything well you say that the, the drunken asians bouncing off the ground as well yeah let's see if the wizard can come in here and get something done before the floozy goes down but Floozy gets his repair up just barely. Uh, the wizard could have been out here a lot quicker. He's staying alive here. Uh, Asian doing a good job as well. Balloon finally goes down to that carronade uh, power. Oh, and it is going to go down uh, to that combined fire. And let's see if the Australian can pull off anything here. But their balloon is out as well. So the Floozy actually might get out of this with a, with a um, double or well two kills over here now. The Drunken Asian gets not the worst spawn ever, depending on how fast this uh, Sober Australian goes down. But it is being uh, quite effective at staying alive. Of course, I, I said that a little bit too late. And now the Drunken Asian <laughs> has got to back up here. 
Don't, no, don't, don't do this. Oh, nobody, no, no, don't. no, no, he's committed. He's going in. He's got, he's got no sense of his own limitations. Oh, does he? Oh, he actually does. Oh, he actually the, does. The, uh, it's sort of the hate, his, the alcoholic haze is starting to clear. Oh, oh, the Australian is gone. I guess <laughs> I gotta back up. But the Australian actually spawned right behind the Asian in this case, and the two ships are now gonna go full force, full force forward, and their target will be the Floozy most likely. Uh, try to finish that one off before they turn themselves onto the wizard we'll see if that works out for them or if the wizard is going to be able to do like it's doing taking out the the balloons of these two ships so Lucy yeah taking taking balloon damage watch oh, shots there going. we go the, 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 this is what the sober Australian needs to do yeah and the stick stick back disable those components which is exactly what he's done yeah did a fantastic job once more there those those uh the first half of that watch barrage didn't really hit anything but the second half knocked all sorts of stuff out on the floozy floozy falling down over here with no balloon wizard left with no balloon as well sober oh, australian rams sober itself australian into inside here but... oh and i think the nation hit a mine so there after all drunken nation definitely hit a mine there uh floozy is stuck to the ground uh, and it looks like the two ships might actually turn on the wizard at this point, knowing that the floozy is still down there. Uh, Drunken Asia, or the wizard has had absolutely everything knocked out. So once again, all it has is basically its its health currently, uh, mm. which is you know better than not having your health, of course. But uh, <laughs> I don't think you'll have that for much longer. But yeah, as everyone the has the, yeah. comes in. There you go. However, they turn they turn it away from the floozy. The floozy, floozy is heavily damaged. I don't think he can escape. And those, those Hades fire coming in on the floozy, hitting it onto the side, and a few of those actually went. So as, oh, as but they're getting see... damage on the the sober Australian. The Australian's balloon is down. Is backing off. Is a floozy and going to be him. able to get a kill here? Yes, they do. The Australian goes down once more to a floozy combination of the floozy and the ground. But I think the floozy is going to suffer the same fate now. Where are the two other ships? The wizard is coming in from that left side, but the floozy goes down, and now the wizard has got to be really careful here. As it's 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 all it is is a spire versus a pyramid on, and that usually goes terribly for the spire. Uh, now, thankfully, the floozy actually spawned really really close, and it looks like the Asian is just going to be backing up as well here, as uh, and and it is going to wait for the Australian to come on in help with that disabling that the watch uh, uh, can be so capable of. And let's see, watch fire coming in, hitting mostly balloon here, not doing too much. But there is a lot of fire going down on the wizard from the drunken Asian. This balloons down, hulls down. However, they've been, they've been using the mortar mostly to do that damage. Are they going to be able to pull off the killing blow? Not quite as the uh, armor goes back up, but so much damage has been done to the wizard. And the drunken Asian can actually just come ramming into here because the wizard is backing up into this pipe. Even and if the drunken... Body block. Yeah, if the drunken Asian can actually ram this in, but yeah, the Floozy doing a good body blocking oh, job the there on the drunken Asian. Asian overextended himself. Doing... Going forward just a little bit too oh, much there. Dear. Oh, is it going to be the Asian or the wizard that goes down? <laughs> oh, the the is firing on him. The, the sober Australian can't and, support. Oh, and uh, the blowing water for all to the, take it. Yep, they do Tying take this here. match. Five to three. Tying it up one to one. And we will be going to match number three on uh, Northern Fords. So hopefully that'll come up in the list of uh, maps to vote on. Otherwise, we'll have to remake this lobby once oh, more. Certainly hope so. All right, this is the final game of the series between Blowwater Frawls and Cake Watch, and it's contested on the Northern Fjords.
no doubt about it, but the uh, the cake uh, cake watch have approached at uh, such a high angle, though, it's making it difficult for them to hook in those uh, heavy flak shots. Yeah. Audio. The cake, uh... Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Keep on going. Stuff is happening. Um, anyway, uh, the uh, dr drunken Asian um, charging high angle on the on the uh, on the wizard, bringing its balloon down, raining down those mortars. Clever Australians are little ways away, not really using those watches to full effect. Oh, I say that, but now they've uh, dis completely disabled the achievement floozy. The wizard's balloon is down. Looks to me like uh, the Cake Watch team have successfully charged the Glowwater Frawls here as the Drunken Angel continues to fire on the Wizard, trying to finish him off. Yep, and doing a fairly down. good job at it. And... Armor's down, and boom. There goes the Wizard. So good approach by the Cake Watch team. They're closing that distance, and uh, well, once you get into the arming range of a flat cannon, that flat cannon's not going to do very well at all. No, it's not. And the Silver Australian is just absolutely massacring the parts of the Achievement Floozy. That is oh, that All is red disgusting. has become a theme uh, during these Cake Watch games in this Rumble. Absolutely. As I've said, this has been uh, quite a revelation of how good watches can be uh, when they hit like they are. And down goes the Achievement Floozy as well. So it's a quick 2-0 lead for Cake Watch. Now that Flak shots coming in, barely hitting anything. And I think this was actually a little bit of a problem. Uh, uh, interesting enough, in this very same map last week in their matchup versus uh, the Wolf Pack, the Glowwater Thralls were missing a lot of those flak shots as well. And I mean, it's not the easiest gun to fire, uh, gun to hit with, I should say. But uh, I mean, you can look at that. They have not hit a single time since they've spawned. And that's let. Both the uh, the Cake Watch teams just come right on in, waltz into the arming range of that wizard. So not only are they not able to hit, but now if they even if they do hit, it's just basically not going to be very effective at all. Drunken Asian getting getting hit by those Merc shots from the Floozy, which is doing pretty good work there. Taking the armor down. Uh, but the problem is that the since the wizard is sitting right next to him, that heavy flak isn't going to be able to hit at all, and you can only do so much with double Mercs. You can't really end up uh, killing off anything. Sober Australian going after the the achievement Floozy now instead of the wizard. So we've got a little bit of split fire going on here as a Floozy and the Australian going uh, oh, at each other. Oh, but they've taken out. They've taken out oh, they the, have uh, taken out the, the watcher. watcher there. Yeah, and now they Which turned. means they can just. Oh, they can rein in the DPS side now. Yep, they've turned that. Gatling coming in. But the wizard is also taking a lot of damage here, so might have a l quick exchange of ships here as the wizard is losing. It hasn't quite lost their armor. They are just about to. The achievement floozy still sticking to the Australian. Trying to uh, get those watcher shots in. Does come down. Doesn't really knock out anything whatsoever. Wizard finally oh, the getting, wizard getting taken down. Here by the drunken Asian. Yep, there you go. So that is a 3 0 lead for Cake Watch as the wizard goes down once more and the Australian still sticking to the Taking floozy. Taking out here. that carronade again. You mean Huacha? Well, yeah, the, the Huacha, sorry. Blech. Yep, yep. Oh, it's late. That Quick was, rebuild uh... on that one, though. <laughs> Some That's of the fine. Other Europeans have commented. Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> the, the, drunken, the drunken Asian coming in here. Folks firing on the achievement floozy, but so, the, wizards Ooh, the wizards coming in. The wizards shooting, shooting the Australian, flak. Any... Australian in the back. Oh, those are nice flak shots. Ooh, missing that one there. Any, really, any other flak shot will do it here on the Silver Australian, but. Just not able to get it in before they get their arm or uh, their stuff back up, and the junkers components are once again completely taken out. So, sober Australian managing to keep itself alive here in the face of all this fire, and that shot hits. But they had gotten their armor back up once more, and uh, it seems like a, a repeating uh, theme here is those flak shots just not hitting where they need to. Sober Australian does end up finally hitting into the side here as they uh, do take a full force amount of damage, but they stayed alive for way more than they had business to, and that's going to hmm. result in a quick kill on the wizard. Uh, I mean, the if if 
you know, ha 50 percent more of those flak shots would have hit the goldfish there. I really do feel like uh, that fight would have gone completely differently. Uh, uh, that would probably be a quick two kills and a tie a three three. Uh, instead, it's a or well, sorry, it would have been a three two. But uh, oh, but the wizard tie. getting us. Great spawn, able to catch the Drunken Asian in the crossfire here between it and the Achievement Floozy. Up the Achievement Floozy's balloons going down. Drunken yep. Asian's charging ahead out of the firing arcs of the wizard. If he can get a quick kill on the Achievement Floozy here, that well, will be it. Kate yeah, Watch would have won it. Yeah, and there it goes, that Watcher Fire going in, disabling everything on the Floozy once more. And this is looking more and more dire for the Glowwater Thralls team. Those flak shots still trying to come in, do whatever it can, uh, but the components of the Floozy being down, every single component is down. Balloon is down to that Carinade on the Drunken Asian, reigning in those mortar shots. The Silver Australian is just going to camp out over the top of the Floozy, not letting the Floozy go anywhere. The Wizard is going to have a tough time shooting through all that terrain to really hit anything whatsoever. And the Floozy is on top of this mountain here, taking more watch of fire and here come those mortar shots he here here comes those mortar here no not quite <laughs> oh but the drunken asian drunkenly going right over the achievement floozy yeah it's gonna throw the uh their their arcs definitely the wizard in the meantime trying to come up behind them are they going to be able to take the floozy down finally or is the wizard going to be able to come up and rescue uh the floozy from this fight which mm. should have been uh, over a long time yes, ago yes the uh the drunkard here awkwardly Ooh. trying to jump on top of the floozy oh there goes uh, those flash shots <laughs> a, a scene we've seen in many bars many late nights yeah uh, <laughs> the floozy though is firing back Ooh, nice watch a shot once again taking out all of floozy's stuff Silver Australian, however, does have to manage to keep itself alive against the uh, the wizard here. Oh, if if you could call that living, with all its parts red, yeah, crashing it's... down into the into the ground here. I mean, this is uh, you're basically on life support when you have everything mm -hmm. broken as a watch a person just watch a ship just sitting right behind you, waiting for you to repair anything at all. Uh, hold and your watch of fire and the achievement the losing. There you go. There we go. Hits the water and cake watch finishes dust dust this game off and they do win two to one to advance to the final uh, the finals of this Sunday rumble against the Merry Men, which we will be going to uh, very soon, very shortly. Um, so we're gonna well congratulations to the cake watch for making this far and thanks to the Glowwater Thralls for. The fantastic games that we did see today and uh yeah we'll be back uh in just a few minutes uh we're gonna set up the next lobby here and we'll be going into the finals it will be cake watch versus merry men stay tuned